Welcome once again to Go Figure Customs Presents YouTube channel. I think probably one of my most popular videos so far to date has been an unboxing video. And that was the unboxing of the Aliens APC. Primarily because so many people were wanting that thing and it was so pricey so there was a lot of people that weren't going to be able to get it but really wanted to see what it looked like. But it was an unboxing video and I think unboxing videos are kind of neat because it's new to you and it's new to me so we're both seeing it for the first time so we're going to do another unboxing video now. You don't know what's in the box, I don't know what's in the box, it's just exciting right? Except we kind of do know what's in the box because it's labeled as big, big ass fucking dinosaur. That's what's in this fucking box. Look at this thing. I can't even get it all in the shot. This is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus. Man, look at that thing. What are the friggin' dimensions on this one? 28 inch, 28 plus inches from tip to tail, I think it says. And yeah, geez, I don't even know how to get this in the shot, man. This thing's huge. So, if you've been watching my YouTube videos on figure reviews, you know, the four main categories I pick now to review a figure or a vehicle are Packaging, first of all. Uh, packaging, so you got the, the landscape view, and then there's a portrait view on the back. Assembly instructions on the bottom. Jurassic World logo on the top. Some kid having the time of his life on the side. And then the thing eating on the other side. So... Packaging is is okay. I'm not a huge Jurassic Park or Jurassic World fan. I mean, I'm not a, like a, a fanboy by any stretch of the imagination, so I could take or leave the packaging, honestly. Um, I suppose, you know, there's, there's always huge fans of any genre, so for those people, yeah, this isn't bad. I mean, you've got, you got John Hammond down there at the bottom, and, and uh, I can't remember the the rest of the characters names but you know there's representations of them and these kids look like they're having a fucking blast man so let's open this thing up and see if it's as fun as these kids seem to be having don't mind the switchblade there And I'm not going to save the box on this. Number one, because it's so friggin' huge. And number two, I don't care about the box. I need to get this for a box. We got one piece of plastic. There's the tail. Oh, another piece of plastic. There's the body. We're just going to set that there for a minute. And then another piece of plastic. And that's the head. And uh, that does not appear to bring in, of course, this little thing here. There it is. And that's all that's in the box. That's all that I expected to be in the box. That's all it should be in the box. What do you want, man? It's a huge friggin' dinosaur. Look at this thing. Oh my god! Alright, let's put this bad boy together. Side here. Have to maybe switchblade again. And it just clicks right in there. It looks like there's a specific way it goes in. Stick 
stick you in the joint there, but it's coming very well. So the tail goes side to side, it does not go up and down. Not a lot of articulation on this, so uh, not really surprised about that. I think we're looking at maybe six points of articulation on this thing. We'll, we'll figure that out here in a second. Seven, maybe. And then the neck just pops right on there. Well, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> I cannot even begin to get this in the shot. Um, <laughs> all right, so the head swivels on a joint here, side to side, and it's got a joint in the body, and so it can. Eat, and then it goes back up. It looks like it should go up higher than that, but it doesn't. And then it looks like there's a joint in the jaw there for you. And then the legs kind of click into place when the, you can move them, but they kind of, back legs definitely click, and the front legs, front legs click when they were in storage, but the back legs definitely click into place when they're they where they need when they are in the position that they need to be, and then again the tail. All right, so I'm gonna pick this thing up. My God, this thing is huge! Look at this. all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom. Here, let's get a G.I. Joe guy in there to uh, get some scale on that. All right, Destro's been kind of helping me out with uh, video reviews today. So there is Destro in scale to this thing. That thing is huge. And there's that uh, 1 16th scale Bruder uh, Land Rover Defender that I did a review on earlier just to show how friggin' big this thing is. All right, so we've talked about the the four, I always review four main categories, four broad categories for the, for the figure. So we've talked about the first one, which is the packaging. So the packaging is, is I'll say it's a wash for me, you know, uh, as a big Jurassic I'm not a big Jurassic World or Park fan, per se. I've enjoyed the movies, sure, and I've read, mm, I think, most all of the books as well. Um, certainly the Michael Crichton ones. Um, but not enough to want to keep this bad boy in a box. I did not get this to keep in the box to set it on a shelf somewhere and go, ooh, look at the box, isn't that pretty? I got this thing to get out of the box and play with it. So the second category is definitely playability. This is, the body's hollow, but the rest of it, this thing is a solid chunk of plastic. I mean, I don't know what the age range they say on the box is. I'm not going to bother looking right now because I don't really care, and I don't think you do either. Um, but, you know, there's, there's limited articulation, but, I mean, it's a big-ass dinosaur. What do you want? You know, I mean, I think it's articulated enough for what it is and what it needs to be. Um, so the playability is like, yeah, I mean, fantastic. It's a big-ass dinosaur. It doesn't get any more playable than that unless you have, like, a T-Rex that's going to, like, tear into it. Um, uh, customizability is usually my third topic um, of discussion. Um, it's a dinosaur, you know. Most people are going to say, how are you going to customize a dinosaur? Uh, I bought this thing specifically to customize uh, number one, I'm going to paint it. Um, I'm really trying to get better and better with the, the airbrush, so I'm going to try um, a lot of airbrushing techniques on this. This I'm not planning on having this custom done 
anytime soon, um, mostly because I'm not that good with the airbrush yet, number one, for just painting this. And number two, I have very little idea on how I want to do what I want to do. And what I want to do is I want to turn this into a Dino Rider custom. You remember the toy line from the 80s where they had where they weaponized dinosaurs? I mean, come on, sci-fi weaponized dinosaurs. The only thing that was not cool about that is they weren't in G.I. Joe scale. This is a G.I. Joe scale Dino Rider custom just waiting to happen. So customizing potential off the charts on this. Sure, it's not articulated much, but come on. 118 scale Dino Rider custom Brachiosaurus. Yeah, it doesn't get any better for customizing potential than that. And with a cool airbrush paint job, this thing should look fantastic. But like I said, I have no friggin' idea how or what I'm going to build onto this thing. I'd like it removable so it's just a dinosaur and then you can put the stuff on top of it, add it on. Uh, I've seen somebody already beat me to this. Um, the guy that does Empire Works, I think is the name of the Facebook page. He's, he does fantastic fantastic work he's got the like the the 118 scale space station and multi-layers built into his room i know you've seen this guy's stuff on on facebook he's just amazing he's built uh the um brachiosaurus um he, he did a dino rider custom using this based on the dino rider brachiosaurus uh toy from the one from the 80s myself i'm gonna go i'm gonna try and go, uh, if you can Google image uh, Dino Riders Diplodocus, uh, it was more of an armored personnel carrier um, than the like platform um, with crane that the Brachiosaurus was. So I'm going to go more of the Diplodocus toy route and try and have uh, like a little control pod and then uh, I want it to be able to hold just a shitload of figures. Uh, and then be weaponized out the ass. So um, that's the plan for this. This is probably going to take a couple of years to do because, like I said, I got no friggin' clue how I'm going to do it. And, of course, the fourth and final uh, point on a figure review is, is the price. Um, it was 50 bucks, I think. is, uh, And it was a, to uh, it was a Target exclusive... I hate exclusives, man. They are hard as ass to, hard ass to find sometimes. This came out like two, three days after I got back to Ukraine. Luckily, that coincided with the day my wife had to go to Target to get stuff for the house. So I begged and pleaded, begged and pleaded, please, please, please look for this dinosaur. And I got a post on Facebook. Look what I got you. She found it. She is... If I need exclusives, I just ask the wife to find them. She's found all of my exclusives, except a couple recently, except the GameStop exclusives that I found myself. Anything from Target, I just send the wife after. She's like a bloodhound. Um, sorry, my hair itches. Um, so the price point, 50 bucks. It's, it's expensive for a toy, especially just one thing, but man, it's a big-ass dinosaur. Is that worth 50 bucks? Yeah, I kind of think it is. So I'm going to say maybe a little bit on high on the price side. But, you know, then again, I was kind of expecting it to be more than that. I was expecting it to be maybe closer to $80, $90, maybe even $100. So getting it for $50, I'm going to call that a win. So uh, this is kind of a short toy review because there's not a lot to this, quite honestly. It's just sheer shock and awe of how big this bastard is and how cool it really is. Um, so, as always, thank you for watching. Please comment below. Like the video. Share the video. Comment on the video. All that fun YouTube um, social media stuff. And then uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.